Hi there, I'm Robin. This will be a short introduction video for the Dubot conveyor belt. It is meant primarily for use in education and will typically be part of an automated system in combination with one or more robot arms. I received this unit from dubot.nu. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. I have not received any form of payment for making this video. I will not keep the equipment and any of the opinions expressed here are my own. I will have a look at the included hardware, programming, and I will run a simple program to demonstrate how the system could be used. First, let's have a look at what's inside the box. A color sensor is included, which can be used to read the color of a part. The built-in LEDs make sure it's independent of the lighting condition in the room. Also, an infrared sensor is included. This can be used to detect the presence of a part. It provides a high or a low signal. More on that later on in the video. There are screws and allen keys included, brackets for placing a Dubot Magician robot arm in a repeatable location, and of course the belt itself. A geared stepper motor is used to drive the belt. The frame is made from aluminum extrusions, which hold a number of T-nuts on both sides for mounting accessories. The belt can be tightened with belt tensioners if needed. Now you might wonder why you would need a conveyor belt. I think the whole idea is that in order to simulate a production line in an education environment, it makes sense to have something like this to transport parts between different operations and to practice with part detection and handling. The conveyor belt is sold as a separate kit, but it is intended to be used with one or more Dubot Magician robot arms. The conveyor belt and the sensors are actually controlled by the Dubot Magician and programmed through the Dubot Studio software using a Blockly visual programming interface. Some example programs are supplied by Dubot to demonstrate how the conveyor belt can be used. One of the programs is for a robot arm at the start of the line, picking up parts from a buffer location. The other program is for a robot arm at the end of the line, which will pick up parts from the belt, use the color sensor to verify the color and to stack the blocks at a specific location. Since I only have one Dubot Magician, I tested both programs separately. Here you can see the programs in action. If you are using two robot arms, the location of the parts on the belt is always the same from side to side, since it is placed consistently there by a robot. Since I only have one robot, I wanted to see if you could use the sensor to not only detect the presence of a part, but also the location on the belt. I hooked up a multimeter to the sensor to verify the output voltage. It turns out that the sensor outputs zero volts if it detects a part, and three and a half volts if it does not detect anything. The signal is digital, meaning it's either on or off, so it cannot be used to measure distance. It can, however, be used for detecting if a part is present on the belt, and you can use this to activate other actions in your automation project. Here you can see a simple program that runs the conveyor belt until it detects a part, which will stop the belt. First, we have to tell the system that the conveyor belt is present. This block will initialize the system based on the parameters you set. In this case, the sensor is revision V2 and it is connected to port GP4. The next block will start the belt and will make it run at 50 millimeters per second. Then we enter a loop where the sensor is continuously checked to see if it detects something. If that happens, it will output a high signal. This in turn will stop the belt with this block and it will break out of the loop and stop the program. In order to use the belt with my robot arm, and still have the parts centered on the belt, I went with a very straightforward solution. I designed a parts guide that will, you guessed it, guide the part to a specific location on the belt. I modeled only a guide for the left side, but you can just mirror this in your slicer software to also print a version for the other side of the belt. The idea here is that you can drop parts at any location. The guides will then make sure that the parts are aligned towards the center. This means that when the infrared sensor detects a part, you will know exactly where it is located in both directions. This approach actually works very nicely. 
at least most of the time. Here I made a program which is a slightly modified version of the example program that you get with the conveyor belt. Again it detects a part and stops the belt. If this happens a program section is triggered that will have the robot arm pick up the part, hold it over the color sensor and then sort the blocks per color and stack them on top of each other at a predefined location. The stacks are not perfectly aligned due to a large number of things that can have variation, such as the triggering point of the sensor, the alignment on the belt, movement induced by the vacuum cup, etc. I'm not too worried about this, since they can be mitigated to a certain extent if you want to. But this type of variation is not at all relevant to what they are trying to achieve with this conveyor belt, which is to have kids and students understand the logic behind programming for industrial applications and to develop problem solving skills. On this front, I think it's quite a useful addition for educational purposes. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing, press the thumbs up button or leave a comment. I hope this was useful for you. Thanks for watching.